In this tutorial we will discuss stripping voltammetry. Let's start with introduction. Electrochemical stripping analysis is a set of analytical chemistry methods based on voltammetry or potentiometry that are used for quantitative determination of ions in solution. The remarkable sensitivity of stripping voltammetry is attributable to the preconcentration that takes place during deposition. For preconcentration to take place, the deposited material obviously must adhere to the electrode surface. In stripping voltammetry, an electrochemical preconcentration technique is used. The sensitivity of any analytic technique can be greatly increased by introducing a preliminary preconcentration step. For example, solvent extraction. The analyte is concentrated from very dilute solution by electrolysis to an insoluble product which collects at the electrode and can be subsequently determined with a very high sensitivity. This method is applicable only to a limited number of important analytes. Stripping voltammetry requires the use of solid or stationary electrode. Basic principle of stripping voltammetry. Although DPP is the most sensitive direct polarographic technique, an even greater sensitivity can be achieved by employing stripping voltammetry. Stripping voltammetry consists of applying two opposite potential values where oxidation occurs at one potential and reduction at other potential. It consists of two steps. Preconcentration. In preconcentration steps, the potential is set such that electro deposition of analyte on a suitable cathode such as HDME, MFE, graphite, noble metal occurs. This preconcentration step is used where a very low concentration of analyte is present in a solution. It requires inert gas and sufficient time for all the analyte to be deposited and stirring to increase the diffusion. The deposition process can either be cathodic process where metal ions are reduced to say a mercury electrode to give an amalgam or an anodic process where mercury is oxidized to Hg plus ions and this then reacts with certain anions to produce insoluble mercurous salts which form a film on the electrode surface. This is then stripped back into solution by a negative going potential that is cathodic in second analytical step. The first of these two steps is more commonly used and the steps involved are as follows. For anodic stripping voltammetry ASV. If stripping gives anodic current, then it is known as anodic stripping voltammetry ASV. Here, the cathodic deposition occur applying negative potential to solution giving mercury amalgam as shown here. And, anodic stripping occur scan from positive to negative potential when, Amalgam gives metal ions liberating free electrons as shown here. An anodic stripping voltammetry is mainly used for trace analysis of metal ions usually soluble in Hg for example bismuth, cadmium, copper, lead, nickel, etc. For cathodic stripping voltammetry CSV. If stripping gives cathodic current, then it is known as cathodic stripping voltammetry CSV. Here, the anodic deposition occur by negative going potential to solution giving, mercury ion and then insoluble salt as shown here. And, cathodic stripping occur by the decomposition of insoluble salt to its corresponding ions. And cathodic stripping voltammetry is mainly used for determining a variety of anions that can be deposited on the electrode surface in the form of insoluble salt. Solid electrodes such as graphite is used for metal ions such as mercury, gold, silver, and platinum. Stripping step. The stirring is stopped for 30 seconds and anodic scan is run while measuring current and deposited analyte is removed or stripped from the electrode. The resulting current is used to quantify the analyte. Stripping can be done by DPP. The peak current is given by randall sevcik equation. IP is equal to 2.69 into 10 to the power 5 times n to the power 3 by 2 ACD to the power 1 by 2 nu to the power 1 by 2. Here, n is the number of electrons involved. A is the area of electrode. C is the concentration of analyte. D is the diffusion coefficient. And nu is the scan rate. Stripping voltammetry is linked to few analytes. Examples are transition metals halide, pseudohalides, etc. Advantages of stripping voltammetry over classical polarography. This method is more sensitive than classical polarography and DPP. 
and in this method simultaneous determination of more ions can be possible by the presence of distinct peak for each ion, etc. Applications of stripping voltammetry over classical polarography. This technique is used for the analysis of copper, zinc, and manganese contents in soil and vegetable samples. This technique is used for determination of lead in drinking water. And this technique is used for determination of food contaminants, toxic metals, pesticide, fertilizers, and veterinary drugs residuals, trace essential elements, food additive dyes and other organic compounds of biological significance, etc.